TLE6. Agriculture. Market demands for fruit. Objectives. At the end of 50 minutes, 100% of the learners are expected to identify the factors to consider when harvesting fruits. Discuss the tips in storing fruits. Identify the market demands for fruits. Enumerate the ways of marketing products. Harvesting fruits. Harvesting is picking fruits in their season when they are ready to be sold or eaten. Harvesting is done at different seasons depending on the characteristics of each product. Generally, fruits are picked when they are mature enough. Mangoes, bananas, and papayas are harvested before they ripen. They should be green and matured. Pomelos and chicos should be picked at the right size and maturity. Native oranges or dalandans are picked while green. They eventually ripen. The right time to harvest depends on the following factors. The price of fruits on the market. The distance of the farm to the market. The period of storage of harvested fruits before bringing them to the market. 1. The price of fruits on the market. The beginning of harvest season of any fruit commands the highest price in the market. This is because the fruits are new in the market and are not as abundant as when they are in the peak of harvest season. Two, the distance of the farm to the market. Transportation comprises a big expenditure in marketing the products. The farther the farm is to the market, the higher the transport cost. Likewise, the rate of ripening and deterioration may be affected by the length of time it takes for the product to reach the market. 3. The period of storage of harvested fruits before bringing them to the market. The longer the storage, the higher is the risk of the fruits to deteriorate. When some products become overripe and close to deteriorating, they cannot be sold at a higher price than when they are fresh and at the right degree of maturity or ripeness. 4. Storing the products. Proper storage of harvest is very important to keep them in good condition. Most fruits when ripened are perishable so they rot or decay easily. Therefore they should be used or sold while still slightly ripe and firm. Tips in storing fruits. Use a wicker basket in storing fruits. 
This will prevent the fruits from ripening fast because the holes in the wicker basket will provide fruits with cool air. Use a durable and clean wicker baskets for handling. Classify the fruits first before placing them in the wicker basket, depending on the ripeness, size, and shape. Separate the ripe from the unripe ones. Place the heavy, unripe fruits in the base, and place the light, ripe ones above in packing fruits like papaya, mangoes, and pineapple. Store in a cool, dry place. Store the products in a clean place, free from ants, cockroaches, and other harmful insects. Handle the fruits carefully especially when placing them in the boxes or wicker baskets to avoid bruises. Always remember, the better the product, the higher the price. To ensure success in selling fruits, the farmer or seller should consider the following market demands. Buyers select fruits and other products of good quality, usually based on size, shape, and appearance. Good quality fruits have the same appearance, size, stage of maturity, state of freshness, and shape. Fruits should be in their freshest state when being sold. They can command higher prices. Pack fruits properly in good containers to maintain their freshness and to avoid cuts, bruises, and blemishes. Price your products based on the current price on the market. Going with the current price makes your product competitive. Generally, when products are sold during the peak season, if your products are of superior quality, you can demand a higher price. Many consumers prefer to pay a higher price if they feel they are getting their money's worth. Ways of marketing a product 1. Retail this refers to the sale of goods in small quantities directly to the consumer. 2. Wholesale. This is the sale of goods in a relatively large quantity to be retailed by others. 3. Consignment basis. This is an agreement to supply goods for a definite price and at a specific time. 4. Announcement of products to the public. 5. Direct selling to the marketplace. 6. Selling through cooperatives. Selling by wholesale is advantageous over the retail method because the producer has a sure market for his products. The retail method, however, is better because farmers earn more profit this way.
marketing through cooperatives is the newest practice. Farmers from cooperatives in order to earn higher profits, while consumers get the product at a lower price. Let's remember, harvested crops in season are cheaper compared with those out of season. We should consider the market demands for fruits in order to ensure success in selling fruits.